All right, guys. And uh, remember, in uh, Udemy, there is something that uh, was very interesting that we saw. Look at this. You see, when you hover your mouse above this, some other thing will show up. Look at this popover that shows up. And uh, take note of this tiny little arrow that points it to where it is. So there is a whole different bunch of information that comes when you hover. And um, same thing with this, you see. See, nice popover. The nice popover, all right. So we're going to um, basically try and reproduce this. Uh, like I told you, I don't want to go outside of what Bootstrap 4 provides. Otherwise, I will cool down and write a whole new beautiful CSS to um, highlight what is here. But I'm just using exactly what is provided by Bootstrap 4 because this is a Bootstrap 4 tutorial, not a CSS tutorial, all right? So if we go to Bootstrap 4 documentation, we can then see that uh, when you click on components, you scroll down and see popovers. So you can see what popovers are. Look at it, popover. So look at an example. There's a button, and if we click on it, it shows this nice, beautiful design, you see? And that's what we're seeing in the here. You see, it shows this nice, beautiful drop down, but it's not a pure drop down like this. It's not a pure drop down, it's just like a popover. So that's what we want to work on and see how it works. Basically, we're just going to paste a button on it. Let's just copy the code first. We've copied the code. Go to our code. So, this place, I'm just going to um, remove everything about the alerts. What I just deleted is what we did in the past video about alerts. We don't need it because it will destroy the design. So I've pasted, um, let me just let me divide this. Let me, um, I pasted the button. I'm trying to break it so you can see, so you can see what's inside. So basically, um, it's a button, of course type button, but what you have to pay attention is that um, there is a data toggle with popover and then there is a title and then there is a data content all right so then there is um the text that will be on top of the button let's see the button first let's go uh to our browser and see the button in action we'll refresh there is a button here but when i click on it and um it's not showing let me find out why it's not showing so let me arrange this very well first now the thing is that um popover was introduced using an external javascript and let me show you when we first on the very first video when we set up this bootstrap there is this javascript that we imported look at it this second one look at it it's popper.js it handles the popovers you see handles the popovers then we need to initialize the popovers if you don't initialize it it won't work it, don't, it didn't come naturally with bootstrap we just added it as an extension so to make that work see it will not work but we need, we need to enable it so if we come to bootstrap um on that when you click on popovers under popover they are telling you here the way to initialize it we have to run this jquery code at the bottom of our page even though they didn't mention that it should be run at the bottom of the page here so the way to do that is we come um come to the bottom of your page your your, your html page under everything just before the closing body tag we need to create a script tag so you do script um, this is not obvious in the documentation so remember to do what i'm doing here so script then you paste so this initializes all popovers on the page so if we come back to our page and refresh if we click on this, we will now see that there is a popover. You see, it's now beautiful. There is now a popover. Now, one thing you have to know is that uh, just to make it cute, uh, just to make it beautiful, what I can do is um, we go to the popover. I just want to show you that you can style it anyhow you want. Where is it? I've lost track. Toggle popover. All right, good. So let me put it inside a div that had a, has a class uh, text center. So I want to put this button inside there. I'm just beautifying it. It's not as if it's um, something important, not really important. So if I do that, I'll refresh. It comes to the center. Then I want to create space underneath just to make you see it well. Br 
PR tag space for refresh. Yeah, there's no space, so you can see it very well. Now, in the next video, I'll show you other things you can do with um, popovers. All right, how other ways to arrange it. Then eventually, we'll transfer it to this one, which is a link. All right. Thank you very much.